What's going on guys, Sessi here, welcome to Real Life. So yesterday or three days ago or seven years ago, I lost track of time. I asked you guys to ask me some questions so that I would answer them in a questions and answers video. And here I go, you guys asked and now I'm gonna answer some of the questions. Why did you start YouTubing? Well, first of all, I know, plot twist, I wear glasses. Second of all, I started YouTubing because that is my dream job. My dream job was to always be one of those big YouTubers that make videos to entertain people. So, uh, yeah, that's that. That's why I started YouTubing. That's my dream job and I will always chase that dream. Hopefully, I will catch it one day. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, that's kind of an embarrassing question, but I don't have a girlfriend at the moment. I mean, I used to go on dates before, but I never really had a serious girlfriend and I don't really care about that objective in life, at the moment at least. How did you get this far? Well, I wouldn't say I got far. I'm still one of those YouTubers that are trying to make a, you know, regular living. But, uh, well, if you're asking because you want to start a YouTube channel, just keep doing YouTube videos and I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't really get this far, so I'm not really the person to ask. Like, go and ask someone who has a million subscribers or two million subscribers or something, he will give you better advice. But my advice to you is to never give up and keep doing what you love and don't really care about the negative opinions of people. I mean, yeah, look at them every once in a while, but don't let them stop you and keep doing what you do. Where are you from? That was actually the most asked question for some reason, but uh, I'm from Egypt. Do you think you will get one million subs one day? Well, hopefully. I mean, I don't really care about the number of subscribers as much as I care about the viewers because that's the point of YouTube. The point of YouTube is people watching videos, not clicking on some button, okay? So, I don't really care about the number of subscribers. But the thing is that the number of subscribers actually help getting those views. So, that's why the number of subscribers is important. But I don't look into it that much. So, uh, to answer your question, yeah, I would like to reach 1 million subscribers one day. But if I didn't, that's fine. Whatever. Would you ever have a date? You guys ask weird questions. I mean, why do you ask so many personal questions? But I already answered that question before. Yes, I went into some dates before, but I never had a serious girlfriend. Can we just move on? Can we just forget about that part and move on? What motivates you to do YouTube and videos? Is this your actual job or a hobby? This is my actual job. This is actually my only job right now during college and I love it. I really enjoy it. In fact, I really wish I could drop out college and focus on it, but unfortunately my income is not really that amazing so that I would do so that I would be able to do something like that, but um this is my only job right now during college days and I love this job. I really do. I enjoy making videos. Are you from India? No? Are you getting Battlefield 1 or Infinite Warfare? Well, I think Battlefield 1 is gonna be a better game, obviously, but either way, I'm not really a big fan of first-person shooters. I think they are kind of boring to me. I am more of an open-world games guy who enjoys experiencing open games and, you know, go and update your stuff, go and talk to that person, go and do side quests. I'm not really into first-person shooter games. These are, these are just not my thing. You asked so many questions, Muhammad, so I'm just gonna answer one of them. Am I a Muslim? Yes, I am. So you mean Q&A? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. I have to ask you something. You are play always open world games, right? But I like assassin games. That is why I'm telling you, please make a video of Hitman 2016. I played Hitman and I didn't really like it. And beside that, I always, when I make a video, I like to think that there is a point of the video and I don't really think there is much of a point of making a Hitman video. Like, I, I always like doing tutorials and mod showcases. These are the two favorite type of things I do in my videos. Sometimes I show graphics improvements, which are, which are also pretty cool. But uh, Hitman, I don't think there is actually much into it. Like, I don't think there is a mod that I can showcase in it or a tutorial that people are interested in knowing how to do in it. And also, I don't think that the community of this game is so huge to the point that my videos will be interested, uh, interesting to a lot of people, you know? So, yeah, I don't want to do uh, videos on that game right now. What's your favorite game ever? That's a very tough question. That's a very tough question for me specifically because I played way too many games in my life. I played way too many games to the point that it is almost impossible to choose a favorite game. But if I have to answer the question... I think Red Dead Redemption was the best game I've played in my life. I mean, I think from all the games I've played, Red Dead Redemption gave me the best gaming experience ever. What do you want to be when you're older and what is your job now? Well, I already said that my job now is YouTube. That's my only job right now during college. And what I want to be when I'm older, well, that's a very tricky question. I really don't know. Maybe a big YouTuber, that would be fine by me. If I was one of those big YouTubers that have like 6 or 7 million subscribers, that would be cool by me. But if that didn't happen and I have to choose a completely different career, 
I would actually want to be a businessman, one of those businessmen that owns like entire buildings or you know entire hotels or something. I would love to be one of those businessmen that try to you know try to pr produce more stuff and you know own factories and stuff like I, I would love to be one of those big businessmen that play with a lot of money. I don't know. It's not about the money. It just I always looked up into like if you look at Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse there was that old duck I don't really remember his name but uh, well in my country they name him Uncle Coin but I seriously doubt that's what his name is in your country but I always admired that guy I always admired that duck that always swam in the coins and always let them fall in his head I always admired that duck and I always want to be like him when I grew up I, so yeah that's that's actually one of my dreams to be a huge businessman can you make a reaction to Agents of Mayhem trailer? I think the worst type of videos anyone could ever possibly make in YouTube is reactions. Honestly, I hate those kind of videos and I will never make one of them. It just, I don't, I don't get it. You make a video of you watching a video, like come on. How do you deal with haters? I just ignore them. That's actually how, that's actually the answer of every other YouTuber ever. When you ask any other YouTuber, well, how do you deal with haters? That's the basic answer. You just ignore them. There's nothing else you can do. What are you going to do when you have 100,000 subscribers? Don't really know what I planned yet, but uh, even if I know, I wouldn't tell you and let it just be a surprise, I don't know. Will you ever do gameplays with the new game Infinite Warfare? Again, I'm not really the type of person that is interested in first person shooter games, but if I ever was, I don't think it's gonna be for Infinite Warfare this year, I think it's gonna be more for Battlefield 1, but either way, I'm not a first person shooter guy, simply because there is not much to make a tutorial at or make a video that is interesting at except maybe the latest map update or the best weapon and I think these kind of videos are kind of weak, I don't know. What's better GTA 5 or Minecraft? If you ask me what's better for my own entertainment I would say Grand Theft Auto 5 because that game actually entertains me more and I enjoy playing it more but if you're asking me what I think is better as a game in a whole I would say Minecraft because well Minecraft to the new people that don't really know anything about it when they look at it for the first time they will think wow this is a really stupid game it's just a bunch of blocks and you just build stuff from blocks blah 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 and you're a block person this is a game for a two year old right but when you actually dig into the game a little bit more and try to understand it a little bit more you will realize that this is probably one of the best games ever made because simply because well it's the most open world game ever and you can literally make anything happen in it whether with mods or within the game itself or within the updates that could be created within the game itself all these things actually make minecraft one of the best open world games ever made but if you're asking for the entertainment i get entertained by grand theft auto 5 more how old am i i'm 21 what's your favorite mod in grand theft auto 5 or minecraft I don't really have a favorite mod, I mean I think they're all awesome, but if you are asking about the favorite mod, well, or mo maybe the mod that I enjoy using the most from them all, I would say probably the script hook, no not the script hook, there is uh, that menu that comes in Grand Theft Auto 5, I don't really remember its name, it was probably script hook, or yeah, that menu that actually allows you to change your skin and change the character that you're playing with, and maybe spawn vehicles and stuff. I think that's the most amazing mod in Grand Theft Auto 5 so far, and probably the most mod that was put hard work into. I remember its name, but I think it was something like script hook or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, that menu, I, I think you know what I'm talking about. I guess that's it for today's video. I want to do this kind of videos more often, so if you want to ask me any question, ask me in the comment section below and I might answer it in my next question and answer video. Or you can ask me on Twitter or Facebook, all that stuff. And yeah, I enjoy making these videos and I want to do them maybe once a week or once every two weeks or whatever. They are kind of cool. And that's all. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.